Sea Dogs continuing their series against Binghamton first. The two teams resuming their game suspended from last night with the Rumbo Ponies, leading 2-0 in the fourth. Matt Blacken was great in relief for the Rumbo Ponies as he struck out four in two innings. Binghamton had the chance to add to the lead in the seventh inning. Braxton Lee singles to left field, but Tate Matheny throwing out Luis Corpillo as he tries to score from second. In the end, doesn't matter as the Sea Dogs only managed uh, one hit in their 2-0 loss. Sea Dogs hoping for better luck in game two. They had a good chance in their first inning with two on, one out, but Luke Tendler grounds it back to the mound. Zach Lee and throws out CJ Chatham at the plate. Uh, later in the inning, the Sea Dogs low to the bases, but Lee escapes trouble when Tate Matheny grounds at the second base. Binghamton scores two runs in the third, the second on the RBI single right there by Patrick Mazikia and the Rumble Ponies win the game two, win game two, that is five to zero. Portland has now lost five in a row. Well, before the game, the Sea Dogs celebrated the 25th year of the Strikeout Cancer in Kids program. The players wore specially designed jerseys, which will be auctioned off all to benefit the Maine Children's Cancer program. And this year's slugger kid, five-year-old Griffin Cochran of Wyndham, who is battling leukemia, ran the bases right there with his brother Sawyer. The program has raised nearly $5 million, and WMTW is one of the proud sponsors of that program.